A San Francisco rapper and business owner is apologizing tonight after making a video calling out the mayor for the city's crime problems. If you are going to owner San Andy Yang Francisco, says this has been an make sure issue. to leave nothing in your car. So Andy Yang, a.k.a. Chino Yang, owns Kung Food near Alamo, Alamo Square. It's been broken into more than half a dozen times since 2020. But as Kelsey Thord reports, the way he chose to vent ignited a political firestorm. The reaction to a song put out by a local rapper critiquing Mayor London Breed has been significant and swift. So much so that that rapper has issued a public apology. But tensions are still running high in the city, and local academics tell us they believe that's because this issue runs much deeper than just one song. San Francisco, that's my home. Let me put it in a song so you never get wrong. San Francisco rapper Chino Yang has found himself in the hot seat of San Francisco politics. A few weeks ago, Yang uploaded a new song called San Francisco, Our Home, in which he critiques the city's policies on crime, specifically calling out Mayor Breed. Now, Lana Breed, you ain't nothing but a clown. When we really needed you, you would never be around. The video has since racked up tens of thousands of views and hundreds of comments, many supporting the rapper's lyrics. But the song has also hit a nerve for London Breed's supporters. On Thursday, NAACP San Francisco President Reverend Amos Brown hosted a more than hour-long press conference with fellow civil rights and faith leaders, calling out Yang for what he says was an inappropriate and unwarranted attack on the mayor. Since unfortunately, this young man erroneously hijacked an art form that evolved from the black community and use it for divisive, devilish, destructive end. Yang initially defended his song in a series of social media posts, but then posted this apology video, claiming he was being threatened by a powerful and influential supporter of Mayor Breed. Someone who has the connection to presidents, senators, or, you know, the top elites. I am simply a civilian, so for the sake of my family and my loved ones, and my close friends, I like to openly and publicly make an apology regard, regarding of my actions and what I say in the video. I had no idea this extremely powerful individual has so much emotional attachment to Landon Bree. Brown called that a flat out lie. That was dishonest. James Taylor, a professor of politics at the University of San Francisco, says the whole controversy seems to have grown into something much bigger, putting a spotlight on a deeper issue that persists. This is part of a network of tensions that uh, go back two or three years, probably to the Chester Boudin recall as well. All of the recent politics of the city. I think come into play. And this young man had no idea that when he made these these uh these these expressions of of rap or art or or public criticism or, or criticism of a public figure that it would get such a reaction, but he had no idea what he was stepping into. And I think what it shows the city is that there are tensions and it's going to play out, I think, in the mayoral election going forward. Now, we reached out to the mayor's office for comment. They did get back to us and told us that they do not have a specific response to this music video at this time, but they did go on to say that they take every instance of crime against a small business or anyone in the city seriously.